And welcome back, guys. Let's continue to the mine. Merka's Upper Mine. Page 1. 20th of February. The upper mine contains many treasures, but there's one in particular that Colonel Hargrove wants to save. Renowned in academic circles as a definitive version of um, Chaucer's uh, Canterbury Tales? Never heard of it. Shows how cultured I am. Um, even more so than the venerated uh, Ellesmere, the Darwood Manuscript. Huh. was on loan to the Sorbonne when the Germans marched into Paris. Keep the paintings and sculptures safe, but be sure to grab the book or the colonel will be very upset. Colonel Hargrove may have a personal interest with the material objects inside the mine, but I'm more concerned about the human enemy you're about to face. According to the pair of communicates communiques, I should say, we intercepted, the mine should be crawling with a particular vermin. Unfortunately, I am very familiar with the elite demolition squad of the 7th SS Panda, Ban, Panzer Corps. If I could talk today, that'd be great. This is a member of their wretched crew. Three years ago, they wired a Paris school to explode, thinking it would draw some of the Marquis out of hiding. Their plan worked, but they blew up the school anyway. My brother, uh, Jackie, Jackie, Jacques, either. Jacqueliques? Jacques? Hmm. Not sure. My French is brilliant. I mean, I could say cunt, but that's about the limit of my French. Uh, save his... Uh, gave his life saving for some... Uh, saving some of the children inside. Patterson, please stop these monsters. Look at that dick. Look at him. So happy with himself. Well, no worries there. We will dispense some cruel justice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this level. Oh, man, this level. Oh, boy. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. <sighs> this is a tough one. You're going to have to be very careful. Notice how confined this area is. And there is so many rockets in this level. It's not even funny, guys. We've got nearly 400 rounds for this puppy, so... I'm going to use it. There's one of our demo experts there. Sit down, motherfucker. Alright. Now, when I was playing this off camera... Well, we just destroyed half of the art. Ooh, this rocket guy usually comes straight at you. Um, when I was playing this off camera, I didn't really have a lot of this ammo because I used it all on the last mission, but... I'm glad we do now. Also, no worries about the art. We can blow it all up. No one cares. You know, if we actually... There we go. Oh, <laughs> the grenade actually destroyed the artwork. That's quite interesting. But yeah, we can actually destroy the art and it doesn't matter. Alright, let's hold on to the SMG. The SMG, as you can see... You can fly through the ammo on this, on this thing, on the Thompson. Which is unfortunate. Oh, hey friend. That was nice. He's got a rocket launcher. And so does his friend down here. Oh, hello. He had a rifle. That's fine. We can deal with a rifle. Hey, no worries. Got loads of bazooka shells. Which is good. <laughs> hey, we demoed the demolition expert. Ah, interesting pieces here. Pixelated titties. My favorite kind. Not really. Let's get out of here. I'm actually surprised that's there, to be honest. In all of its pixelated glory. Ooh. Big opening. I don't like these big openings. Send a rocket his way. Hey, asshole. If I can just... There we go. Boom. He's had enough. No one else seemed to heard, hear that, huh? Oh. He heard it. Possibly got him. 
Possibly. Oh, hell. See these guys? That's the problem. You can't hear them. They just sneak up on you. And um, that's fine. But if they sneak up on you with a rocket launcher, my friends, it's all over. Let's grab the rocket. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. He's throwing nades at us. Shut up, sir. Now, they actually drop SMGs, which is great. They actually drop uh, MP44s, which is quite nice. But sadly, we can't pick one up. But I think they're pretty much the only source. Hey, Dahud manuscript. Nice, recovered. They're pretty much the only source of SMG ammo on this level, apart from a few... Uh, Small cases here and there. But, sadly, they won't, they won't actually drop SMG ammo unless they take their gun out. And you have to ask yourself, is it worth the risk? Some bitch around the corner with a rocket launcher. Really? You bastard! Fucking die! Seriously. But we ain't got to the hard bit yet. There we go. He's done. Oh, fuck. Uh oh. Hose him down! Hose him down! No! No! Oof. Literally walked into that and it went through me. We can thank the gods of metal for that. Ah, okay. We got very lucky there, guys. Up oh, round here. Try again! But, sir, you're dead. Whoa, that was almost stupid. Got him. Nothing left but bits. Up your ass with a rocket, my friend. Oh, I thought he was still alive. I was like, bullshit! Hacking! The med kit there. We're going to leave her there, though. But, oh, we got to leave the med kit here. I say, as he's patching his face up. Never mind. Right, let's keep going. I guess, to be honest, like if you get hit by a rocket, it doesn't matter anyway. Because it's basically game over. Game over, man! Right, you're done. Oh! See that? There's a guy spawned behind us with a rocket launch. Uh, ooh! Okay. We got as lucky as you can possibly get there. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Um, do we now have enough health to complete this level? I don't know. Can't remember where all the medkits and shit are. But either way, we're going to have to go back now. I'm sure we left a medkit here somewhere. Well, there is that, which is nice. <sighs> I tell you, those rockets. And the trouble is, if you die, there are no checkpoints. No, 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 no. There are no checkpoints at all. If you die, you die. Hmm. If I was a medikit, I can't believe we used that one earlier. I was like, God damn it. I don't want to use it. Take it off. Put the bandages back in the box. I wonder if that would work. Take the bandages back off, put them in the box, and then use it again. Um, was there one down here? My brain. She's not as good as she used to be. Uh, ooh. Ah, oh, no, this was the titty cave. That sounds good, doesn't it? The titty cave. Hmm. Right. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is where we wasted all the art. Oh, yeah, there was one med kit back here. And that's basically it. I actually didn't realize this med kit was here um, until, like, the second time I attempted this level, or the third time. I've played this one a lot, guys. Because this one is hard. 
The next and final mission is quite hard as well, but it's more forgiving. Damn it. Come on! No! I'm stuck! Okay. You can get stuck in this game. It's very easy to get stuck in the geometry. But it's all reaped. How many enemies have we killed? 23. There's only about 35 on this level. But it only takes one son of a bitch with a rocket launcher to send you packing. Ah, yeah. Now nah, we've got. We did. We, yeah, we got the key. That's fine. Whew. Right, let's keep pushing. Forwards onto dawn. Hey, buddy. Now the trouble with these guys is usually once you kill one, an enemy will spawn, but it fakes you out because the first one doesn't. No, I'm wrong. Oh, I'm wrong. I'm really wrong. He killed himself. That was close. As I said, luckily, they do kill themselves. Oh, you are kidding me. How did... How? 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 How did you not die? Yeah. And my phone alarm's going off. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I uh, don't think... We can do this one now. Okay. I swear the damage that the enemies take in this game is uh, RNG. Um, bugger. I'm sure there was another med kit that we didn't... Oh, no, wait. There is a field surgeon kit actually coming up. Oh, was that on this level or the next one? I can't remember. Dude! You fucking wrecked me, mate! Uh, see, that guy died instantly with one hit. Explain how that happened. Bearing in mind, we didn't shoot him anywhere sensitive. We just shot him in the back. Right, there's the field surgeon kit. Which is cool. Oh, here they come. Come to Papa. Oh, are they behind me? They might be behind me. Yep, he's behind me with a rocket launcher. Ah, no, 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 no. Yeah, the game stops playing around. It really doesn't play around anymore. See, if we pick up that... Nah, we're going to leave that field surgeon kit where it is for now. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on. Don't fail me now. Yeah, although we've already completed that mission, there's still extra guys here. But that's fine. Okay. Oh. No idea what weapon he has. Had a rifle. That's fine. They can have rifles. They're allowed to have rifles. Alright, let's keep pressing forwards. Right, there's the exit. Nice. 35. What did I say, guys? 35. Good thing that field surgeon kit's there. Otherwise, we would have been royally fucked. Nom, 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 nom. And we should have enough time left on this video, yeah, to do the next mission. Next mission is basically the same as this, same sort of idea, but nowhere near as brutal. But now I've said that, watch me get absolutely fucked up. Triumph, keep it up, soldier. I'm trying, Sarge. Oh, that was stressful. Nice. We're an arm stinger again. Yeah, happy with that, actually. Let's hit up a save. Definitely saving that bad boy. 
Come on, game. Check down memory card. Yeah, the game really stops pulling punches here. It's like, I see you're trying to complete this game. Fuck you. I'm going to stick bazookas up your ass. And it does. Treasure caverns. Mercy, Patterson. Um, your actions have helped honor that all my brother fought for. Unfortunately, now comes the hard part. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure? The demolition squad has already wired the lower part of the mine. You're going to have to disarm all of the bombs. Fortunately, the SS crew was not known for their elegant craftsmanship. They just cram a huge amount of explosives into a small box and then hook it all up to a cheap Bavarian clock. Use your action button to snip the detonation wires. Also be on the lookout for the curator's inventory. This should contain an itemized index of all the stolen loot in the mine. Hopefully, we'll be able to return it to all the rightful owners. By his reputation, we know that the curator is an intelligent and decent man who is working for the Nazis against his will. Don't be surprised if you hear him publicly challenge the Sturmbannführer during your assault. Yeah, the dialogue is actually quite funny that's coming out over the Tannoy system in this, in this level. Um, but it's very, even for me, it's very hard to actually hear it because it's quite quiet and muffled. Okay. Hey, Fritz. Boom. Yeah. Even headshots are not guaranteed. Stop throwing grenades at me, buddy. Okay. Let's get out of here. Now, oh, God. There's quite a lot of health, actually. That guy had a rocket launcher. I thought he did. Why did he throw a grenade if he had a rocket launcher? I guess I shouldn't complain. I should be quite grateful about that. Yeah, there's a lot more health on this level. Thank fuck nuts. Boom! Yeah. Dude! How are you not dead from rockets? Die from that instead, then. You greedy bitch. Sit down. At least we can get a reliable source of... Uh. Yeah! Ha, ha, ha. Get a reliable source of SMG ammo on this level. Nice. We've got the inventory. Excellent. SMG rounds. Super! Okay, cool. Let's go check out this little... Alcove here. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Ooh, nades and a bazooka shell. Very nice. Don't mind if I do. It's kind of half English, half German. Attention, Allied soldier. Something, something, something. Don't think it's welcome to the dark side. Well. All of that went over his head, literally. Oh, fuck you. You gobshite. Alright, we can start cutting the wires now. Okay, good thing these aren't elegant explosives. Nothing high tech here. It's kind of fortuitous when you think about it. Because we don't know dick about disarming explosives. Having said that, Peterson is supposed to be... Oh, no. He's got a rocket. Is that a rocket in your pocket? Or are you just pleased to see me? Don't answer that. Okay. Cool. It's kind of annoying when you get stuck on geometry. Because the, um, the camera does that. It's like... Kind of like wiggles and shakes. <sighs> Very annoying. Right, give me that rocket. What else have we got? Some more SMG rounds. Did we disarm? We disarmed that one. Was there more than just that one in here? There may have been. There is indeed. Boop. Three of twelve disarmed. What have we got? Anything nice? Uh, someone's just been going mad with MS Paint. 
you remember those days, MS Paint? I remember those days. They were good days. Ooh. Now this is Flavor Country. Yep, somehow they all know we're down here. Let's chuck that nade out. Which probably wasn't a smart idea. Oh! Hats off to that man. Seriously. The only German that we've had in this game so far that had an ounce of brains. Get down, fire a rocket into the vent. Can't even be mad at that. Can't even be mad at that. Right, I'll catch you guys back up. In Alrighty, the let's try that again, shall we guys? Once more we're feeling. Now, let's get our sneak on. Now, where is that little nutsack with the rocket launcher? Him. No! Got lucky there. Whew. Good shooting, Tex. Actually, terrible shooting. But hey. Whatever. Nice. Cool. I'll take it. Right, there's a canteen there. A bomb to disarm there. Yank. Yank. Um. Field surgeon kit there, which is sexy. Nades there, which, eh, we'll have them, I suppose. No point leaving them for the roaches. Um, uh, bomb there. Cool. Uh, right, that's the way we came in. That door we can't open, I don't think. Boop, 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 boop. Nope. Alrighty, well, we'll leave the field surgeon kit. That's quite nice. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Rifle round? Seriously, game? Bloody rifle rounds. Now, this is fucking flavor country right here. Ooh! Ah, dude. Dude, you fucked me up hardcore. Ooh! Ouch! Ooh. Can kind of like could see through the bloody wall there for a minute. This is the battle of the rockets, guys. I don't know. Did we get him? I don't know if we got him. We got him. Whew. That was intense. Okay. Hey, Fritz. A little off the top. Luckily, there's some goodies down here. Ugh, much better. Well, that was uh, really something. Now, I do want to go back for that med kit. Did we leave the med kit back here? I can't remember. I think we did. Not the field surgeon kit, the other one. I'm so confused. I've done this so many times. But we do kind of need to go back here anyway. Because when I came back here on one of my test runs, a load of enemies had spawned here. Um. Okay. I don't know what happened there. We seem to have, like, glitched out the side of the wall. It's fine. I'm like, sitting here like, wait a minute, have I only been recording for three minutes? What gives? Yep, see, they're shooting me from inside that building. Sometimes bullets will come through there and hit you. So, we actually do have to come back here in a roundabout kind of way. Otherwise, those enemies won't spawn. A lot of bullshit like that in this game, guys. Now, where was that med kit? I can't even remember, lad. Uh, oh, yeah, that's the way we came in. Oh, yeah, it was up here, wasn't it? Excellent. That way we can leave our field surgeon kit untouched. 
Yeah, when you're playing this, you never know when a, where an enemy's gonna spawn. It's quite uh, perplexing. But that's alright. Yum, yum, yum. Nice. I always wonder what was in those. And how can he bandage himself up so quickly? Why am I even thinking about this? Damn. I don't know, actually. If an enemy... If you kill... If you don't kill an enemy because he hasn't spawned, does that still count against you? Oh, there's one here we haven't disarmed as well. Uh, or do the enemies only count if they spawn on the level? Uh, I don't know, actually. Might test that one day. Hmm. Boop. Right, we've got to be careful now because there's two enemies spawn out here. Notice how they are shooting through the terrain. But we obviously can't shoot through the terrain. Because we have to abide by the laws of physics. Ah, uh, we got them? Somehow? Maybe a rocket mm, kind of like went through and hit that. I'm not sure. I'm not complaining. Here's me saying the rules are so unfair, man. We have to abide by these rules. And then somehow I got a lucky shot. Huh. Maybe I should stop talking. Hooray! Alright, let's keep going. Dude, what are you made of? Oh, okay. We're almost made of uh, charred ash. Oof. I think there's a load of guys over here. But I... Yeah, there is. <laughs> we call that the Great Exchange. He gave me one of his, I gave him one of mine. That's what friends do, you know. Just because we're killing each other doesn't mean we're not friends. Stop being so fucking judgmental. Jesus. Right. Grab that. If you never murdered any of your friends. <laughs> right. Okay. Ooh. Hose him down. Whoa. I think that guy is also running from the rocket guy. So, see you in a minute, guys. I hate the rocket guys. Okay, guys, we're basically back to where we were. Um, I've just deactivated all the bombs in this room. Which, thinking about it, I can't remember if I did this. Uh, that one. There's four bombs in this last room. I've basically got on a rampage with the rocket launcher, and it's been glorious. Oh! Okay, so we actually died right at the end. That's typical. So, let's get out of here. Ah, oh, and hopefully... Only 31 enemies. This is the weird thing. Like... You know when I said we have to go back and uh, get the medikit? And there's enemies that, that spawn? They haven't spawned. So let's just go back one last time and see if they are indeed going to spawn. But if they don't, I'm kind of stumped, to be honest. Because if they don't spawn back here, I mean, I assume we've killed them then. <laughs> but I don't like assuming. Because I don't really want to play this level again. If I can avoid it. Yeah, the enemies that spawn in this room. They just... They haven't spawned. Come on. There we go. So, that's kind of strange. 
I've played through this level now, in total, with this uh, Let's Play, and my um, off-screen recording, probably about four or five times. And they, they've they never not spawned. But they're not spawning now, so... Either my PlayStation's taken a shit. Or, I don't know. I kind of hope it hasn't taken a shit. Because I completely stripped it down and took it apart yesterday. And cleaned it out. Because it was pretty dusty inside. And I always do that. I do that with all my consoles periodically. But yeah, these guys are not spawning. PlayStation's actually a very easy machine to take apart and work on. Like, replacing the laser in it is so easy. If I ever need to replace the laser in this one. Um, it's so easy. And uh, the new lasers for them are already available on eBay for about 10 quid. Brand new lasers from the factory. So, if you've got an old PlayStation that um, is on the fritz, just buy a laser for it. Because for about £10, you'll have a machine that then works as good as brand new. Alright, so we're literally right at the end there. How bizarre. Can't believe you copped a rocket in the last room. Unfucking believable Actually, it's very believable. Following in the footsteps of the ME-163, the Messerschmitt 262 was the first true turbojet fighter mm. aircraft. Capable of flying 100 miles per hour faster than a P-51 Mustang, the 262 streaked across the sky at more than half the speed of sound. It was an aircraft truly ahead of its time. The Germans hoped it would win back the air superiority they so desperately desired. But the 262 was not invincible. And it was too little, too late for the luck one. Yeah, they were demonic. <clears throat> they were, um... Pre I don't know, we did get it, excellent. They were pretty much unmatched. But they were costly to build. And, uh, yeah, by the time they actually started to enter service, which was right at the end of the war, <sighs> they just could not produce enough to turn the tide. But had they... Tons of those um, readily available. If they had entered service like a year before, oof, that would have uh, shaken things up quite a lot. Anyway, our preferred weapon there was the bazooka. I love the bazooka. So we're going to save. And then we're going to have a little look at our code and our medal. And we should be, we should have 13% of this game left. Now, um, if you weren't getting three stars when you were playing this, you wouldn't be um, that high in the percentage. Because you need, what code did we get? I can't remember. Because you need to get three stars to get 100%. Uh, ah, reflecting shots. Yeah, so that just means if an enemy shoots you, it bounces back and hits them. Quite cool, actually. Hmm, not bad. Let's check out our medal. Click, click. See, I'm pretty sure we've only got one mission left to complete. But there's two medals in this box, and I'm sure there's a, a fifth one that... Um, Ninth one that goes in the middle. Might be wrong about that. So, what did we get? The Soldier's Medal, Mission 6. Yeah, because even on the back of the box it says seven missions. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's have a little look at our performance. So, we've got an overall rank, uh, accuracy rank of 47%. We've fired. Huh, only 5,800 rounds. And we've only killed 835 enemies. Why am I saying only? Because... If I go back... If I load... My personal game... And we have a little gander at this...
Uh, I've... Those stats are quite uh, heavily inflated in comparison. Which is curious, because I'm in exactly the same place. But then I have replayed some of the levels quite a lot, I suppose. So if we look at my personal performance, 37%. Yeah, twice the rounds used. And we had killed like 800 enemies on my on this game. I killed 1,200. Hmm. Right, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we're going to go to what I think is the last mission in the game. But, I mean, it can't be. Huh. So, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.